Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We continue to see, again, some pretty cool conditions for the next several days. That's okay, though. We could be getting, again, some very warm conditions around the Mid-South area at this time of the year. We could also be getting into, again, the possibility of some stormy weather. Could be some problems with that as we go into tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you have any plans for travel, definitely want to stay tuned to the News Channel 3. Severe Weather Center because we'll be keeping you updated on that as we go throughout the rest of the weekend and also into next week. Again, big travel days coming up for a lot of people heading into the next several days. We could be looking again at a lot of people out there hitting the roadways over 50 million according to the AAA and to around the Mid-South area. A lot of people again are going to be drifting in their way on through, so if you're going to be heading on through the area, be glad to have you through here portions of the Mid-South and not seeing too much of any other major problems uh, out across the area for right now where it comes to anything involving rain or thunderstorms or good news again for anybody out and about for right now. We continue to see a few sprinkles out across the Mid-South. We'll take a look at First Defense or at uh, Storm Tracker 3 radar coming up here in just a little bit. This is our live on your side News Channel 3 video weather blog called Weather Overtime. It's available at wreg.com slash weather. Welcoming in all of our friends on Facebook for this morning. Time is just past the bottom of the hour at about 8.33. When we're recording this, you can see the time in the red bar up on top there for this morning. Rest of the day, again, not seeing too much of anything really to major to worry about. Again, the forecast for the rest of the day, if you're wondering what's going on for this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures will be very mild back in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Don't really get, again, that much in the way of these type of temperatures that often, but when we do, usually a precursor to some things that are going to be happening here in the Mid-South, which includes the possibility of some thunderstorms and maybe some areas of rainfall as we go into tomorrow. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. In the meantime, what we're looking at for right now involves the winds out there today out of the southeast at about 10 to 20 miles per hour and maybe a sprinkle or two, mostly just cloud cover expected across much of the area as we get into the rest of the day today. And again, those breezy winds. Going to be even breezier into the rest of the morning. We'll have more on that coming up here uh, in just a little while. Look Rock from the Great Smoky Mountains. Looking great. A little bit of patchy areas of very beautiful color down toward the ground. A little bit of haze off into the distance and a few high, thin clouds drifting on through. Beautiful sunshine across the Potomac River. The view from the National Mall camera overlooking the area back to around the Capitol building and into around the monuments out that direction. A little closer to home, Windyke Country Club. Things again on the cool side out across much of the area so fairly quiet conditions out the area for this morning with golfers starting to hit the driveway and no problems at all being seen here and a little bit more cloud cover around I-40 and I-55 in West Memphis, Arkansas with traffic around the left-hand side of your screen. That's I-40, I-55 traffic moving along pretty nicely at this time. Downtown Memphis from our tower cam, a few more clouds drifting on through, likewise from our cotton exchange camera, also seeing again clouds making their way on through the area. Storm Tracker 3S, we do have a few sprinkles showing up. Again, we don't have a lot going on at this time, but we will continue to see again the potential of more of these light scattered showers across much of the area for today, and that's what we're going to be seeing again throughout the rest of the day for right now. Uh, very light activity going on. Much of what you're looking at is, again, right on in through about here around portions of eastern Arkansas, right around I-55 north of West Memphis. A little bit of activity trying to hold together between Mariana back down toward Helena, West Helena. A little bit of activity going on here, but most of what we're seeing is exceptionally light most of this probably not even reaching the ground at this point in time, but we do still again see the possibility of these light scattered showers out there from time to time. So if you're heading out the door, if you won't be back until later this weekend, grab the umbrella because we may be seeing again some very heavy possibilities of rainfall as we go into tomorrow. But most of what we're seeing here probably is not even going to mess up your windshield at least that much. But remember, if your windshield wipers are operating, please remember that you've got to have your headlights on. That's state law. Looking back to the west, we don't have much going on here either. 
maybe some more scattered showers trying to develop back to the west of Little Rock. A few echoes there back down toward Hot Springs, but beyond that, so far, things are looking pretty quiet here and across much of the rest of the area. Fog this morning was a bit of a problem in the delta around Clarksdale, also back up around Dyersburg for this morning, but otherwise nothing major taking place at this time. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, we are back into around the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, a little bit on the breezy side from time to time, and we'll be getting more wind into the area coming up later today as we showed you on our forecast. That's again where we're going to be taking a look at the possibility of some fairly breezy conditions out there today and into the rest of the day. Notice again right through here we've got the winds coming in out of the southeast. Most chances of rain through about News Channel 3 at noon will be well to our west into Arkansas and around portions of Missouri. Not that much going on in the Mid-South unless you're west of Forest City, back toward Little Rock and up to around Springfield, Missouri. Now tonight, hopefully again, Friday night football doesn't seem to be too much to worry about, so that's good news at this time. Late this evening into around News Channel 3 at 10, winds turn a little bit, coming straight out of the south, going back up from there. More chances of rainfall back to our west, and then by early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak, I'll have your complete forecast from 6 o'clock in the morning, so stay tuned for more there. More chances of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. And also, again, seeing uh, the possibility of more thunderstorms. Now, toward about lunchtime, northeast Arkansas will see this first, and then northeast Mississippi will see it last. We've got a front making its way across the area. Notice winds here are going to be out of the southwest, and winds behind that front, very clear wind shift line coming on through, will be heading out of the northwest. That'll be bringing in some much cooler conditions out there. Notice the temperatures mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, and that'll be set early during the day. Then as that front makes its way on through, drier, cooler air coming on through the area. So if you're going to be out in about Saturday night and you're going to leave the house, leave the business early during Saturday morning, it's going to be much cooler as the winds begin to kick up from the northwest tomorrow and bring in some very cool conditions out there. Linda Bush and Bozo Woolfolk, thanks for joining us on News Channel 3 on our Facebook page for more information as to what's going on here. Now, chances of severe weather, not seeing anything for today. We've got a possibility of thunderstorms from almost Cleveland around Detroit, Chicago, Kansas City, St. Louis, south and east of Des Moines. Just thunderstorms not severe weather. But as we go into tomorrow, that does go a little bit more elevated. A marginal risk does exist into most of the Mid-South area. Now, again, this is not a severe weather outbreak, but it does mean that you need to pay attention to what's going on with the weather. So Tim and Jim will have your complete forecast tonight, and we'll have more details on everything going on with the weather coming up throughout the weekend with yours truly. So stay tuned for more on that. This, again, means the threat is going to be there. It's not huge. This is not a high or a moderate severe weather outbreak, but it does mean that maybe borderline severe weather could be possible. Damaging winds, large hail, things like that. So far, no information about anything in the way of tornadoes, but at this time of the year, that second severe weather season peak that we're in, we need to keep track of that because, again, this can be the time of year where we can get some very powerful storms coming on through the area, so please keep it tuned again to News Channel 3 for more information on that. Sunday, everything is pretty clear across the entire country country. We're just not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of severe weather taking place, and that's very good news. What does it look like for the rest of this next week? Well, good news if you are traveling or know people who are traveling. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. For Friday, temperatures way above normal. Normal for this time of the year is about maybe 60 degrees. We're going to be back up to around the lower 70s. Very breezy today, and again, that chance of a few showers, a few sprinkles out there, but that's going to be about all that we see out there for today. Into tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms early, starting off Saturday morning, continuing through about lunchtime, and then dwindling pretty quickly as we go into afternoon as that front sweeps on through the area. So winds will be out of the south, southwest early, and then turning around to the northwest as that front passes on through. So if you have outdoor plans, later Saturday will be better rather than earlier because that's when the front and the rain with the potential of thunderstorms will be coming on through and that will also be the highest potential of anything involving severe weather for much of the area so something to think about if you are going to be doing anything outdoors. Now Sunday that's a 
big different story out there as temperatures will be some 20 degrees cooler into Sunday. A lot of sunshine, looks great, no problems at all seen here. A little chilly Sunday morning, temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s. And going back to work or school for the foreshortened work or school week, it is going to be pretty chilly on Monday morning with temperatures back in the lower 30s, probably around freezing about the time the kids hit the bus stop. Another chance of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we get into around Tuesday and Wednesday. Doesn't look like much for right now, but that'll be the best possibility of anything we've got. Now, remember at this time of the year, anytime through late November, we can wind up with some very powerful storms or even winter weather coming on through. Usually, again, seeing we can see some pretty uh, active storms coming on through the area. In this time around, we're just not going to be seeing too much of anything happening for us in the near future. We've got, again, some showers out there and, again, a couple of thunderstorms possible as we go toward Tuesday into Wednesday. But beyond that, the big day itself, Turkey Day looking good or whatever it is you're going to nosh on coming up next Thursday, and then looking fairly cool and dry into the later portions of next weekend. A lot of people in motion Tuesday and Wednesday, and a lot of people heading out the door back home again on Sunday. So looking cool, dry, pleasant, and so far no rainfall seen from Wednesday night next onwards. So good news again for anybody who's going to be traveling. So looking very cool across the area and no major problems being seen here out across much of the Mid-South. Check out my complete forecast available on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh up until about 10 o'clock this morning. If you can't listen on AM 730, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information there. And of course, throughout the rest of the weekend, I'll have your forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything like that, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Anything that you'd like to see on here that we can feature, we'd love to have you along for the ride to come back and see more about what's going on here with weather in the Mid-South and beyond. But if there's something you want to see, please let us know. We'd be glad to feature it on here, but we need to hear from you in order to make that happen. So please consider that if you would be so kind. Complete check of your forecast again through News Channel 3 live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon. So stay tuned for more there and also throughout the rest of the weekend. So stay tuned. Plenty more information coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More coming up, so stay tuned with News Channel 3.